hello and welcome to southern savannah guys this is another video on our uh, training so today i will be teaching you how to use main top 5.3 and just like in the previous video i'm going to break this down into a step-by-step -step tutorial which i uh, will equip you to on how to use main top 5.3 so step one let's open our main top so yeah when you open your main top it opens just like this a blank screen nothing here so yeah step one is open your main top step two would be then to go and create your workspace your workspace basically on main top is where you put your artwork it's where you work on the document that you're trying to print so if you come to file and then you come to new this will pop up page this is where all of your specs that you want to be landscape portrait so normally it's main top is gonna adjust to the size of the artwork that you've put in but then if you want to manually create a page size of what you're trying to print this is where you would do it then you just click ok now this is our workspace on main top after you've opened your works your workspace the next step would be to import your artwork so to import your artwork you would come to file no you would then come to file and then you would come to import picture but since at the moment i do not have any artwork i will just go on our website and download an artwork so if you come to our website southern savannah this is where you just come and you get everything that you need on tons of issues you may have or on any question that you have if you want to buy machines you can come on our website but yeah right now we're just gonna go to print files because that's what we're looking for we're gonna come to print files then we come to tiff files I'll explain shortly why we're using tiff files and then I'll just download the color test CYMK download just need to give it a second and then here it will come into documents TIFF so I'm just gonna explain to you why we use TIFF files so since this is a crack the licensed version of Maintop can take any type of folder jpeg pdf everything but the unlicensed version the one that i taught you how to install in the previous video takes a very limited amount of uh, file format so it takes it takes tiffs it takes pdfs that are directly from coral draw and a few others you just have to like bitmap and all of that you just have to experiment but yeah it's just we always just tell people to save their files as tiff documents because that's what this main top reads the best so if you go to documents and then yep our file is done downloading so if you come to main top here i'll just start again i'll show you from the beginning you come to file and then you come to import picture import picture and then you go to where your file is mine is in documents and then I click on it after I've clicked OK this page then comes up import import picture setting so this basically is where you come and you dictate what you want from it you can either come to designate height designate width or you just leave it on off and then it's just gonna paste the picture but then I'm gonna adjust it to picture size this just how uh, this basically it's self-explanatory you import the file and then it's gonna adjust it to the size that you designed it as so if you designed it as a a4 it'll be an a4 if you decide it is an a0 it'll be a0 if it's two meters long and two meters high it's gonna open as that and then there's this small box here which 
is written rotate that basically is to rotate your file horizontally like just to rotate it if it's in landscape you can rotate it to portrait and same in vice versa now that I've imported my file this is the TIFF document I was talking about this is my file so after you've imported your your artwork you would then go to the next step which is now ripping it so in the printing process there's three stages right there's design this is where you design your artwork and then there is a ripping so ripping is basically what Maintop is for Maintop is a ripping software so Maintop is used to rip your documents so step one would be your design so this artwork that I already opened has been designed a long time ago so now we're in step two ripping ripping basically is when we convert our artwork when we convert our artwork into a document that the printer can read and that the printer can print right so this is now step two where we are uh, ripping it so when you click on this icon here the print icon this pop up this pops up and this is where you just come and you set your preferences for your print right if you look here this tells you your printer it tells you the port and then it tells you how many pages it tells you how many you can adjust how many copies you want you can change the size here so he this is where you would then come to then manually input the size that you want on your artwork this is where you come for your orientation and all of that then there's this small button in the properties button this is where you come to basically adjust the color the color of your artwork what what attributes can you what thing can you adjust here you can adjust the intensity you can adjust the number of passes you can adjust the intensity of the color so we'll just start here from the top this is resolution this is where you come and set the resolution of your the artwork you wanna print so the general rule of thumb is that your resolution here matches the number of passes you have here so as you can see it's on six pass and six pass is 360 by 2160 and our resolution is what 360 by 2160 so that's the rule of thumb here that these two match size always have this set to auto so it just prints the direct size of your artwork your print port this is what is connected to this is the port that the printer is connected to on your computer so this is just how it identifies it and then here this uh, when you come to adjust here you just come to inter uh, like adjust the intensity of each individual color but you really have to do this really you don't always have to do this it's just once in a while but this is where you then come to adjust the intensity of each color as you can see our sans on 85 magenta on 89 and then this is where you'd come to select the number of passes what are passes passes is just how many times like the resolution of your print so if you put it on four pass four pass is not gonna be as nice and crispy is six pass because six pass is more ink four pass is less ink so that's basically what it just means and then you'd come to intensity intensity is just the the brightness of the artwork if you want your artwork to be very very dark you would put it on one which is darkest you see it's labeled here darkest to lightest if you want it to be very light you put it on five five being the max brightness you can manually input this value so but then I'll put it back on default so it's always good to work with default but then if you're not happy with the print quality you get you can just change it here and then yeah that should be it you then click OK and then your next step is now to rip the file you would come to print to file and then I will save it here as C-U-Y-M-K so printing to file basically just means that you are saving the document that you are ripping on your computer 
because you can either print it straight from main top or you can save it on your computer then print afterwards I'm going to show you in this uh, in this video how that's done so yeah file name COIMK and then I'm going to save it and yeah you can see there it's just written preparing to print data it's saving and yeah that's basically how you rip your documents here on main top thank you guys for watching uh, we're gonna have a few videos showing you how to print from your main top and showing you how to print from the document that you just saved in the main top so yeah just that's what's gonna come after this thank you okay now this is the final stage of our operators course printing so firstly you're gonna connect your printer to the computer you see right now as you speak there's an x on these screens and this is the indicator once you've plugged your ethernet into the computer into the machine this is what you should get you see the x is gone this is your biggest indicator that uh, to tell you if your computer is connected to the printer so firstly you're gonna open your alignment tool This is uh, one of the alignment tools that we showed you in the previous video. It's the same young one. Then you're gonna open your main top. So since we showed you how to connect your A tools and your main top in the previous video, right now I'm just gonna show you how to print. So firstly, you then, you're gonna import your picture. Like we said in the previous video that this main talk, uh, what we uh, normally tell people to use, like the format to use is TIFF. So you're going to open your TIFF document. Adjust uh, to picture size. This was all explained in the previous video. Sweet, now this is our file. Now you go ahead and click on the print icon. And I uh, showed you how to set everything in the previous video, then you click OK. And then you go to the main top print manager. The last icon on the bottom. Hmm. Your bottom right. Hmm? Yeah, bottom right. Look there next to Coral Draw. Yeah. And then select is it yet? Yes, and after you've clicked uh, OK, it should automatically send the print job. And that's how you print from main top. Now we're going to show you how to print from your alignment tool. So this is very simple and straightforward. You first go to File. So he, this is where you come and select your ripped, uh, your ripped software. We showed you on main top how to save a file onto your USB or onto your computer for later printing. Now go to print. So once you come here, you'll find your job here in print tasks ready, ready, and all you have to do is just select it. As you can see, it shows you an X when you select it. And after selecting it, you just do something very simple, which is you click start. After you've pressed start, it starts printing. And that there is how you print from your alignment tool. Simple, straightforward. Now we're gonna show you how to print from the second alignment tool. Same process that the previous one is just more user friendly you then go to click you click on test page once you've been in test page you go and select your file yeah. all you have to do is select it and click ok open and then you just wait for the magic to happen 
or eat from the magic to happen. And that there is how you print from your alignment tool. Thank you.